We are to the professional part of our night here at Cage Aggression 14 All or Nothing and kicking off this portion, John Haterproof Kennedy out of Moline, Illinois in Marty's Martial Arts. Walking out to his own song. I have said that for a long time. Oh I think that would God, be the man. best thing like, ever to walk out to your own song. That is awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. But beyond, you know, the, the, the awesomeness of walking out to your own song, when we got a chance to talk to him today, he said that since he's fought his opponent before, he's looking for revenge. And he said that he fought him earlier in his career at a point where he feels like he was still learning the sport, still growing, but now he feels like he's accomplished a lot and that he's 100% more comfortable than he was at that point in time. So he's looking to pick up the win. How difficult is it when you fight someone who you've already lost to? Like, is, is, it, is it harder to come back the second time or is it easier? I don't know. I would think that it would be, uh, it'd be a little bit of both because you fought before. Uh, both guys have improved since then, so it's a whole different fight. It's a, it's a rematch, but it's, it's a completely different fight. So... The one thing I know about John is that he stays he stays active year in and year out uh, at Marty's Martial Arts. And even before that, he's one of those guys that's always training, always fighting. Like he lives and breathes MMA. So it's always fun to watch him fight. And, uh, and lately, just been he stepped it up. Making his way to the cage, Jeremy Angry Anderson out of Davenport, Iowa, representing Milicic Fighting System. I think I feel like I know exactly what to expect when Jeremy Anderson comes into the to the octagon. I know that he likes to drop bombs. He he's, he wins in a variety of ways. I know that he's really, really, really been working on his, his ground game a lot, so I'm interested to see if he's able to, to pull that off or is he going to look to stand and bang. Right, and, and in a few fights back, I don't think it was his last one, but he's coming off a scary loss where he got kicked in the neck. Like, you know, the trachea was smashed, but he's, all, he's one of those guys that's always training. Been around for a long time, and I actually love this matchup between these two guys. It's going to be a high-paced, intense fight uh, with both of them throwing, uh, throwing with bad intentions. Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout of the evening is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the Caged Aggression Professional Welterweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He stands six feet, three inches tall, and weighed in at 171 and one-half pounds. He trains with Marty's Martial Arts and is sponsored by All World Concrete and Finished Fightwear. Joining us from Moline, Illinois, John Hater Proof Kennedy. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. 
He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall and weighed in at 173 and 1 half pounds. He trains with Militich Fighting Systems. Joining us from Davenport, Iowa, Jeremy Angry Anderson. Bruce Allen is your referee for our fight tonight between John Kennedy and Jeremy Anderson. Kennedy in the black shorts, Anderson in the white shorts with black pinstripes. I really like when we have the, you know, the, the, the professional start the night off. Um, it's going to be interesting to see if there's a noticeable difference between the, the, the pros and the amateurs. Yeah, and, the, and the, most of the time there is. You see it right away with, with just composure and, and different, different things. But this one's starting off just feeling each other out again. Like, and they fought before, so they know that at any moment it can explode into a, a, a fight. And now just kind of feeling out, seeing where he's been. Good kick from Anderson. Really wait, and, and that kicks real close to landing. He just needs to step in just a tad bit more with the big axe kick coming from uh, Nice shots there by Kennedy. And Anderson just kind of driving through, trying to put Kennedy on his back. Kennedy doing a good job of keeping hold of that arm. Sort of a, a, a battle of strength right now, you know, who's going to be strong. Ooh, big shot from Big Kennedy. hammer fist right there by Kennedy. Almost caught it in Oma Plata, but Kennedy isn't able to, to finish it. Uh, Kennedy now looking for uh, some undercuts and just to pepper up Anderson while he's got him in that in that position. Jeremy looking to uh, maybe sneak out the back door. Yep, but wasn't quite able to. Holding on now. And nice way to roll out of it. And Jeremy lets, uh, excuse me, uh, Kennedy lets Anderson up. Nice combo there. Ooh, Big huge shot, shot there. And then we've seen that before. We've seen that before many times from Anderson and, and finishing fights that way. Right, and it always seems like Anderson sort of needs to get roughed up a little bit before he gets going. Yeah, and he's got a, a, a heavy, heavy shot when that lands too. Let your elbows go, Jeremy. Use that cage. Head to the center. Head to the center. Pull his hips out, brother. Pull his hips out. Kennedy looking for uh, a triangle, but not able to lock it up yet, but locks it up just a tad bit there, but still Anderson trying to stand strong and, and pop out of it. Kennedy do, doing well to use the cage as well. Anderson doesn't want to get caught in a triangle. Right, and Kennedy needs to make sure that he's throw some shots because his Anderson's head should be wide open right now right. to land some shots. And he, he pulls the head down now, and that's always the, the equalizer, the finishing touch to that. But Anderson doing a great job of, of fighting through this. And I mean, it's tough right there when he's caught. You can see the red, his head's getting red, face getting red. And really got to work to get out of that. Yeah, this is, you know, and it looks like Kennedy is doing a pretty good job of, you know, peppering his head. But... I'd, I'd continuously go for those shots, but it has to be a little bit difficult to hold that much pressure yeah, and, and also throw shots at the same yeah, time. Yeah, it's a long time to be in this as well. It takes a lot of energy out of you. Great Anderson job. looks pretty comfortable yeah, right now, even though you know he's job. getting the choke on him. Good job of staying active and just moving through this. Frustrating for Kennedy too, as he's got it locked in and can't finish it. Jeremy, you got to circle to your right. 
to your right. Well, I mean, one thing to do is easier said than done. Get up, stand up, and then drop the person back onto them and kind of break the hold. Sometimes that works, and sometimes it sinks in and deeper. Right. Very nice, very nice submission right there by John Mike able to, uh, Kennedy. Ke Kennedy. He looked like he was running right at us. Right. He was run right through that cage. Uh, great job of, of hanging onto that and being patient. Right. Because uh, it didn't it didn't work initially, but he was able to hold on to it long enough, and he eventually was able to crank down enough and get the right pressure to to submit Anderson. At four minutes, 41 seconds into round one, declaring your winner by submission due to triangle choke, John Hater Proof. <laughs> <laughs>